I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro right here. And like many of you, I joined the Android beta program offered by Google. This allows those with recent Pixel smartphones and tablets to test out an unreleased version of Android. For the better part of the year, those who have been part of the program have been able to test out Android 14. But now that Google has released the stable version, I know that many of you are waiting to know when you can leave the Android beta program without losing your data. For those of you who are not familiar with how this works, when you join the program to test out the next version of Android, you're going to be told that if you opt out, then you will lose all of your personal data. And while this is normally true, there are some times when you can leave the beta program and it will simply keep you on the same version that you're on without losing anything important to you. So I'm going to assume that your Google Pixel smartphone or tablet has joined the Android beta program and currently has Android 14 installed. I'm also going to assume that you have chosen to install all of the over-the-air updates that you have seen a notification about. Which should mean that when you open up the settings application, scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then tap on the about phone option, and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom again. You're going to see a build number option down here. And if your build number begins with U1B1 or U1B2, then that means you have installed the Android 14 QPR beta, aka the Android 14 quarterly platform release beta. This means that if you opt out of the Android 14 beta program as of recording this video, then you will lose all of your important data. However, there are still a couple of ways for you to leave this program without losing your data. It's just going to take a little bit of time. First of all, if your build number starts off with U1B1, then I would recommend checking for a new over-the-air update and installing it right now. That will update your device from the Android 14 QPR1 Beta 1 over to QPR1 Beta 2. The beta 2 is going to be more stable than the first beta and will likely improve the user experience on your end as well. Now with that done, we're going to have two choices to make. The first option is going to wait until sometime in December of 2023. During this time, we're going to ignore all over-the-air updates between now and then. Google is currently scheduled to release the stable version of Android 14 QPR1 during the month of December. And if you wait until that update has been released to the public and it is stable, and then opt out of the Android 14 beta program, then when you install your next over-the-air update, you will be switched over to the stable version and the device will not be part of the Android beta program anymore. Now the other option you have is to opt out of the Android beta program right now. This will trigger an over-the-air update for your device and if you install it immediately, 
then it will downgrade you and you will lose your data. However, if you ignore that over the air update and continue to ignore it until Google releases the stable version of Android 14 QPR1, and remember, this is going to happen sometime during the month of December. So if you choose this route, then you will need to ignore this new over the air update until that has been released. Basically, you're going to want to opt out of the Android beta program when the version you have installed has just been released to the public as a stable build. Opting out before the stable version has been released and installing that over the air update immediately will result in your data being deleted during the downgrade process. But if you follow one of the methods that I mentioned here today, then when you leave the Android beta program, you will not need to downgrade at all. It will be more of a side grade instead which will allow you to keep all of your important private data on your device while also leaving the Android beta program. Now, if you have any questions about this process, then be sure to leave a comment down below. Due to some personal reasons, I have been way behind on replying to comments here on the channel. I am very sorry about this and I hope to be able to reply to your comments very soon.